Oh yeah, here I am. Hey James. Yo. What about you, Matt? You got a webcam or? I do not, unfortunately. Oh. Totally understandable. Yep. Yeah. Um, some people. I apologize. Yeah. I'm a cheap bastard. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Quality over quantity, what the heck? Can't, can't be. At least you have a camera to mm -hmm. film videos. You're not, you don't need a webcam. Webcam's just poor quality. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, what What kind of video camera do you use? Oh, it's a, uh, what is it? A Rebel T3i. Uh, oh, Canon. snap, you've got a, you've got a... You got a rebel. <laughs> are, are those Dude, two? You know, huh? I I would imagine like the the T three I is at this point because I think they're already on to like either the T three I six or seven or something. But dude, totally worth the investment. It, it's a great camera. Yeah, I actually got I I like uh I like DSLR cameras, but yep. um I can Considering a lot of the direction that my stuff had to go lately, I find this is actually really good uh, for just shooting videos on the, on your own. This is a Sony HDR CX 220. I think I've heard of that uh, before. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, the one thing it, it it's the one thing shy of uh, matching Rebel quality is the is the lens, but right. No, I just yeah, like the but camera you can, that you I... can also do like autofocus on that thing, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, on the DLSRs, you you could have to like manually focus it every single time. So oh, that's, that's a pain. If you step out of that depth of field, like you're kind of screwed. Oh uh, yeah, and they don't do this either. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Jurassic World just came out recently, and uh, why not talk about the franchise a little bit? The first three films, and how Jurassic World comes into the picture, being the sequel to Jurassic Park, which is an interesting choice, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, mind you that James and I have not seen Jurassic World. Well, Matt has, so... I have. Midnight nice showing. I'm that much of a nerd. Nerds re rejoice. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, lucky dog you. So so do you guys know anything about it? I mean, have you read the spoilers or anything? You've been I... avoiding that? I've been avoiding the spoilers. I know that there's something about a new... An, an, a new... Uh, a new dinosaur that they've created... Uh, which uh, sounds to me much like a, a plot point you would see recycled in um, in a sci-fi movie, uh, TV movies, or something like that. Exactly. But um... <laughs> yeah, I've I've think I've heard most of the spoilers, but I don't really care. Or should, I should say the Sippy Channel, because that's what everyone's calling it. <laughs> Sippy. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, you know, it, it's worth the money to go and see, but you know, it's better than Jurassic Park three for whatever that's worth. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But I don't really know if I can necessarily call it a great movie, um, because it's pretty stupid, but it's fun in parts. If that makes any sense. It makes sense. What are you kidding? They hired Chris Pratt. It's got to be at least enjoyably bad. Exactly. I mean, no, no, nice no. You know what? Chris Pratt's actually probably one of the better things in that movie. But what's your name? Uh, Ron Howard's daughter? Oh my God, she sucks. Oh, Bryce. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh God. Dude, she she outruns T Rexes and Velociraptors in high heels. heels. I heard about that. The whole that. movie. The whole movie. I was and like, it, what? high like, heels? You... Yeah, for real. No. Yeah. But... But it's a love letter to the original movie. I mean, oh, there's yeah. just little references here and there. And... 
Yeah, is it, uh, do they have a, do they have a John Hammond statue? I heard something about that. They do. Um, you know, oddly enough, though, like, I don't, I could be mistaken. I don't seem to recall them really focusing on that too much. I mean, it's there, oh. but I yeah, almost wonder it's if like, they could It's like an pay, Easter egg. Like, yeah, I'm almost wondering if they couldn't get, like, the likeness rights to Richard Attenborough without, you know, having to pay up the ass for royalties or something. But, it could be, yeah. Um, Oddly enough, it, it really wasn't prominent. I mean, it, it's there, but I think it's only if you're looking for it, then you'll see it. But it's never like really primarily focused on. Oh, because that would be that would have been a, a nice a it nice is. little hat to put to Richard Attenborough there. It, it's there. I seen pictures of it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely there in the background and stuff. But yeah. yeah you guys, <clears throat> excuse me. You guys should definitely go check it out. I've heard. I might go see it actually. Based I on will. What I've heard. I I have plans to go see it. Uh, don't get me wrong; it's just I I I have to decide between um, I have to decide because I I previously had plans to go see Mad Max Fury Road. Those fell through. Then we plan to see it again. Those fell through. So do a double feature, man. Yeah, a a, a five finger double feature. <laughs> I mean, I, I got a I got a ticket to go see Mad Max Fury Road at this uh, at this theater that uh, actually just opened up with Jurassic Park. So um, there's there's nothing wrong with that, right, guys? Okay, I'll see you later in about five hours. Uh, it's all about timing. Mm-hmm. Oh, the timing Lined sucks. Up right. Timing sucks, man. Um, but man, I mean. It's unique enough. They actually created a new dinosaur. I mean, there's so they spliced with so many dinosaurs from what I heard, besides T. Rex and Raptor. Even uh, even with a cuttlefish, I have heard. Yeah. Do the yeah. camouflage. I was like, what cuttlefish? You know, like cuttlefish. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bitch for a second. <laughs> like the the thing I don't like about the Indominus, and I think the design of it is really cool, but like. Whenever they have this thing, like, cornered, you know, whatever new plan they hatch to try to, you know, deal with it, right. the Indominus always pulls, like, basically what a magic trick out of its ass, you know? <laughs> it's like, it's like, well, where is it? Oh, my God, it can camouflage, you know? And uh, then it's like, oh, my God, it's part raptor, you know? It's kind of like, you know, whatever pops up, it's just all of a sudden the Indominus can kind of adapt to whatever situation. But it's the, the Swiss it, Army it, knife of dinosaurs here? Pretty much. It's a Anything was like Frankenstein's monster or something. It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> it's cool though. It's well. I mean, mm -hmm. Chris, Chris Pratt and the Raptor Squad. Come on, can't, can't go Dude, without that. Dude, that actually, yeah, it, that actually, I thought came off really well. In that, like the Raptor Pack is uh, is really well done. Yeah, Chris Pratt, man, gotta love him. Mm -hmm. Um. But the legacy alone, I mean, the first film just blew our childhood minds alone. But Can I... Changed lives. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, go on. They oh, just... no, I was just... Sorry. Go ahead. It's okay. <laughs> Awkward for a second, but it's okay. Usually the, se the sequel is kind of... The Lost World for me just... It was okay. It's not the greatest in the world. The third one is actually the one that's a stinker in the franchise. Just like, ugh, bad, just bad. I still haven't seen the third movie. Oh, I, I <laughs> lucky, lucky bastard. I just, uh, I, I just figured, you know, when that came out and the and the reviews were coming out and my friends were saying, yeah, that was pretty terrible, man. You know, I, I, I just sort of. Uh, just forgot about going to see it, and then years passed, and I saw I saw part of it on uh, on Cartoon Network, and yes, Cartoon Network character is great. <laughs> Cartoon Network aired Jurassic Park three. What the fuck is that? Well, why not? Whoa. Ninety percent of it's CGI bullshit. <laughs> True, yeah, it's, true. But just looking at it, it was uh, either they did something to it or it, or it, what, but it they just sort of sharpened up the colors to make it look more cartoonish and friendly. 
Powerpuff Girls or have the cameo in there somewhere. <laughs> yes. I like the, like the film better, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so I figured there must be a reason why, out of all the movies in the franchise, this is the one they chose to pit to show on Cartoon Network. And maybe that's because <laughs> it's oh. not as... Uh, it, it's not as bold as the, the first two. And it's weird because so. the first two are based upon Michael Crichton's novels. And two is actually really, really weird because I think the film's supposed to cater to the book while the book's trying to cater to the film, and it's really confusing. Yeah, yeah the, the book is like nothing like the movie. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, it's all really confusing. I, I remember reading the book when I was a kid. That's the funny thing. I never read Jurassic Park, but I did read The Lost World. Just like, I've, I've got a I've got a backwards ass relationship with this franchise. Um, I was I was what uh, eight or eight or nine when the first uh, when the first movie came out. So, in my family, we were really a stickler when it comes to the rating system. Uh-huh. Uh, there's uh, there were a few. Now, there's a few exceptions, like Jim Carrey's The Mask, but um, when it when it came to The Lost World, I was I was 12. I was so we just said, okay, one year off, whatever. And I went to go see that in the theater, and I was I I actually really enjoyed it. I, I understand why why some people think that it's it, it's not as good as the first one because it has a uh, a girl fighting a T Rex on a on the on the parallel bars, but um, oh, you mean the Velociraptor? The Raptor. Yes, the, the Raptor. The girl yeah. fight, <laughs> fighting gymnastics. a Velociraptor. She was using Jim Cotta. <laughs> Jim Cotta. I have the DVD for it. What the fuck is it? I haven't is heard that reference from the in team? years. <laughs> Good. I think, I think Mr. Science Theater referenced it in a Gamera episode too, I believe. I think that's where so, I heard it from. Anyways, James. So yeah, that was the that was the deal. I saw the second movie first, and then I went to go back, watch the first movie, and I thought the first movie was great. So I didn't I didn't necessarily have a preference between the first two for a long time. I just know I just knew that by the time the third one came out I didn't give a butt's ass. So a, a butt has an ass? <laughs> That's a long story for a reference. Oh, there's a story. Oh, boy. oh yes. Yeah, we have a lot of references inside jokes. Okay. Yeah. Make this, uh... <laughs> Chimkata. <laughs> Best purchase I ever made on Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my... One of the... That's actually one of my... Fa one of my neighbor's guilty pleasures. He said, um... He, he said he had uh, a situation where... He had a situation where, um... This, uh, where someone actually not bro broke into his house, but they broke into his backyard while his kids were there at, like, 1 o'clock in the morning. It was a really scary as hell situation, but he, uh, he just pounced on this guy. And this guy, this, this guy in the neighborhood, he's, uh, he's in his 50s, right? He's a, he's a short guy, but he's got muscle on him and everything. And he just, this other guy was, we found out later, a repeat offender. He was a really young guy who was all drugged up and just for some reason decided to go ahead and break into his back lawn. So he uh, he pounced on him and took him down and wrestled him to the ground and said all kinds of things that he doesn't typically say in front of his kids, but they called the police and everything and he was, he was sharing the story about it later on and someone else he was fighting with one of his friends <laughs> And the friend was like, you went Jim Cotta on his ass? 
Jurassic Park and Jim Cotta. What a combination. Mm-hmm. Yes, they... Well, thank you, Lost World. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> um... Do you think there would be a sequel to Jurassic World? Oh, yeah. I mean... It, it's only you... made about a bajillion dollars already. <laughs> Pretty close. It's like half a billion when I, from what I heard. I... I... I'm just thinking, what could they go go with next? I mean... It's... They, they, uh, it's kind of hinted at at the end of this movie. I don't know if I want to spoil it for you, but it could be interesting, or it just could go off on the rails in a completely different territory. Like, that's the thing with Jurassic Park. Like, I mean, it's really difficult to make a really good sequel. Mm -hmm. And really, this, this is just kind of a retread of the first one. I mean, it's been 22 years, so, you know, the idea's kind of fresh. Right. But, I mean, really, it's just the amusement park getting overrun with that dinosaurs again but again 22 years later time has passed you can kind of retread that ground but i mean lost world was okay third one was just what you know i mean how do you make worthy sequels to that movie so i don't know mm -hmm. only time will tell only time will tell and box it's office like, results uh, will tell you it's kind of like uh rise of the apes you know is this a is this a prequel or a sequel? Well, at first it was a prequel, and then... Oh, God, yeah, the Planet of the Apes franchise, Jesus Christ. That's that's a whole other discussion, which mm -hmm. would take forever, because that's a big-ass franchise. Um, but dinosaur movies, that people still love dinosaurs, god damn, I mean... Just, yeah. I, I guess their childhood, you know, pops out once in a while. It's like, oh, I love dinosaurs. Uh, every every kid just sort of goes through a phase where they're like, okay, we like dinosaurs because they're big. Um, and uh, as for Jurassic World, I'm actually I'm actually kind of surprised to an extent that it's been received so well because I remember the I remember the there was two years ago there was uh, some leaked footage at an event. At a, at a convention of some sort where they were announcing, I guess, Lost World. Uh, <laughs> they were announcing Jurassic, Jurassic World. World. And, and what they did was they showed some clip of a, that they put together of surfers at a beach and there were pterodactyls swooping down and swooping these guys up. And I remember watching that and saying, this is this is the movie? They... It looks like something you would see on, again, Sci-Fi Channel. But, uh... But, apparently, that was made for just that, an announcement. Yeah, that's what they normally do, which is just to promote it, or just say, oh, hey, that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, if, uh, I'm definitely going to see it, so... Comment below if you uh, are going to go see it. If, if you've seen it, what would you like about it? Uh, coming up is the podcast. We're going to talk about Gamera. I know what that is. Roll back the rock to the dawn of time. And now we can say goodbye. I am going to kill you. <laughs> We're back. A dinosaur story. What a classic that was. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Remember, that was the only good part of the film? I do. And they had a <laughs> Jurassic Park reference, too. <laughs> There's your connection. Mm -hmm. Goes full circle. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, fun fact, if you watch that movie and you pick out that particular scene, you can look on a theater marquee in the background and they're playing Jurassic Park. There's so, the Easter egg. Thank you, Spielberg. Spielberg. Mm -hmm. Spielberg. 